Good morning, folks. Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. I'm not in Maryland. I'm in Illinois. I'm just outside of Chicago in Long Grove, Illinois, at the in-laws' house. We've got a family wedding. They got a pond in their backyard. Can you believe this? Come on along and see what we got. It's not a bad deal out here. They even got a little uh, paddle boat I can get in. A little bit of room for some shoreline fishing, but this paddle boat's going to be the deal. Looks like it's a little wet. That's going to be the way to go, guys, right there. Awesome, awesome little pond. There's a lot of bass in this. There's a bunch of crappie. I'm convinced there's a big one in here, too. Let's see what we can do. Not as mucked over as I thought it'd be. There's definitely uh, definitely some grass growing up though, but it's still pretty clear. There's a little more grass over here, so it's frog time. And I'm not messing around, I'm going for the big boy. I got the little frog on, I got the big frog. This is a live target, full size, green. Boy, it is froggy in here. All right guys, first cast in Illinois in years. That didn't take long guys. Wow, these bass can actually tow a little paddle boat pretty good. First fish in Illinois guys. I'm here for a handful of days. And it's a nice one. Guys, I'm glad to have you. And boy, am I glad to be fishing. It's awesome to take a family trip and know that there's a spot waiting for you to catch them like this. I was pretty convinced there'd be some pretty big ones, man. That is a, that's a nice fish to start the day. I let him, I let him eat it good. I put that pause on them. That's a that's a training thing, guys, to get that pause for these frogs. And I got it that time. He ate it real good. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful Illinois bass. So, guys, when I travel, you know, I try to travel light and not carry too many rods with me. I think I brought about five rods or so. So, to can to combine efforts, I went ahead and brought my zodius shimano my seven foot two medium heavy i'm going to be using this for all my frogging be using it for all my pitching and flipping some of the heavier heavier beaver baits and things like that that i've got and uh yeah that's my lose that's my new lose pro mag that i've got on there with my 50 pound test power pro braid so that's a little combo for the frog today real real easy real simple i've got a couple extra reels actually so i can kind of switch things up if i want to go fluorocarbon for maybe some pull baits or something a little bit different with the same rod i could just switch out the reels but yeah guys that's a nice little combo for my for my frog today that's what i'm working here so got one fish let's see if we can get another one. Ooh, golly man I, you know guys i almost took that you know where that would not have been that would not have been pretty guess it could have been worse it could have been a flipping bait with a half ounce tungsten I gotta feel the fish that's what I gotta do you must gotta tell yourself feel the fish feel the fish wait till you feel the fish how hard is that it is so hard I'm telling you top water fishing guys absolutely awesome Got him that time. I think that was a pretty good pause. I think enough to get him anyway. Not a huge fish, but awesome. Number two, guys. Woke up at about 5:30 this morning. The family sleeping. Everyone's just chilling out from a long drive, and it was a long drive, guys. It was about 10 and a half hours from Maryland to come out here to Illinois, and it's all worth it. awesome 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 oh that is so great number three guys that was like three casts later come here yeah that's uh that's 
about right I'd say the way he ate it jeez little guy and a full frog Thank you, sir. Those live target frogs are so durable. Those hooks are so sharp. <laughs> so easy to put back together. Ready to roll. Oh my God, he missed it right here at the boat. Oh my God. I wasn't even looking. I was not even looking and he smacked it. And I don't think I pulled it away from him again. I think he just missed this thing, guys. All right, let's get it right back in here. There we go. There's a good pause. <laughs> Thank goodness. Got that guy. Oh, what a jump. Nice fish, too. It's dragging, spinning me around. Oh, that's a better fish than I thought. Jeez. Oh, that's a nice one. I think you're hooked pretty good. Come here. Nice fish. Thank you, Illinois. Producing some nice ones. This pond's been here for a while, guys. And this neighborhood's beautiful. The bass are beautiful. The weather's perfect. I couldn't even ask for a better day to start my trip. I vary my retrieve a lot when it comes to these frogs. Most of my retrieves, honestly, is just a pop, pop, pop. I get the nose coming down and back up, pop, pop, pop. As simple as that. Boy, these, these live targets walk really good, too. So you get enough slack in the line, you can get these things to walk pretty good back and forth, just like so. See its head darting. Hopefully you guys can see that. Get to go back and forth and give it a good pause. Let it sit. Those little legs flare out. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome little frog. I should say big frog. <laughs> I got the little frog too. I should throw it. Oh boy. There you go. <laughs> As I'm sitting there talking about it. And that gave me enough of a moment there to pause. Oh, and he gets off. That's okay. He got down deep in the weeds and he kicked it loose. Isn't that funny? All right. That was that was fun. Let's see if we can go out and get one to stay buttoned. Yeah, I vary my retrieve a lot. It seems like they've been biting on every type of retrieve out here. You know, these ponds, depending on how much pressure they get and what these bass see, honestly, a fast non-stop retrieve will get your bite a long pause will get a bite it doesn't really matter but if you're on a little more pressured body of water you might want to really work these frogs for all they're worth from the pop 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 long pause to a walk the dog type of retrieve to a single double pop 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 stop pop pop stop and just see what they want because fish can be pretty finicky but if you find the right cadence on your frogs you might just be in for it popped it somebody's home over there there we go nice awesome these are like the most perfect weeds because they're sparse oh and he jumped off too wow that's two i lost that's okay that's all right can't catch them all you can hook them <laughs> you can't catch them all Frogs, man, I tell you, they're, they're a challenge, but they're some of the best fishing you can do. Oh, back to back cast, I love it. That's another nice one. Got him in the boat, golly, two misses. And I finally got one in the boat, there we go. Again, there we go, right in the nose, beautiful. Thank you, sir. Right here at the boat. Oh, wow, good one too. Awesome. Jeez, I was wondering if one of these guys was gonna hit right at the boat like that. Man, do you have some kind of weird humpback? Look at you, like a like a bird. This is this is typical of those big herons and things like that when they come down on a fish. They do a little, and they try and get him. They take a little chunk out of him. He's uh, healed up really good. That must have happened when he was real little. But wow, again, that's uh, when you see two little fangs coming out of a bass's lip or like that with a frog in his mouth, you know he bit it good. Awesome, awesome, awesome strike. Oh, 
What the hell? Oh my God. I can't believe I saw every bit of that and it was in his mouth and it didn't finish. It didn't finish the job. All right, come back and get it right here at the boat. That was awesome. Come on, do it again. Wow. Unbelievable. Frog fishing. What a game. Guys, when it comes to these small ponds, there's no point. I'm, I'm just come to realize there's no point in bombing these casts out here. Maybe half the distance that you can throw is about all you need. You'll just you'll just be on top of the blow up that much quicker, be able to get a better hook set. You know, I'm guilty of it. I was I was throwing some bomb casts out here when I first came out here. There's no point. This tiny little super quiet little paddle boat and obviously these fish aren't terribly pressured so just just throw a little half cast out there and give yourself a better chance of getting a hook set i've been missing a few even even with a shorter cast and even with uh bass right up next to me i'm still missing some just up your chances a little bit and shorten your cast up a little bit and maybe i'll be able to get a better angle on the blow up for you guys with this camera I heard a little pop, but I didn't feel the fish, so I held back a little bit until I actually saw the line move in that time. So that wasn't a matter of feeling the fish, that's actually seeing the line move. So it's like such a little pop, sometimes they slurp it down and you think it's just a little bluegill or something coming up on it, but sometimes it's a bass that just took a sip, and, took a sip at it, and that time he sipped at it and got it up in his mouth and he started swimming with it. Very cool. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Seriously? Come on. There's no way you should have gotten that. What a blow up. That time I got him right on the shoreline. <laughs> wow. It right through the thickest of it. Beautiful. That's what we talk about when it comes to thick of it. Wow. Amazing. That was so awesome. Right in the shoreline. Thank you very much. You ate it good. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Another really, really good strike. Come here. Not the biggest of them all, but just an awesome, awesome fish. And an awesome, awesome strike. Well guys, I, try, I decided to try out the little flipping bait just to understand what's going on with these weeds and these fish. We've been catching them on top water. I'm going to go right back to it here in a second. But that was just a test of the emergency beaver bait system. <laughs> it works, boy. These weeds are thick and these this flipping situation is going to be awesome later in the day when that top water bite slows down. I just wanted to flip a couple in there and see what I can pull out. And there's the first fish on a beaver bait in Chicago. So we're going to stick with this frog thing for a couple more minutes. But I just wanted to make sure I had the game on when it comes to this flipping scene. And it looks like it's going to be. I can keep them, keep them in the boat. Bring them in the boat anyway. Oh my goodness. I turned my head for just a second. Oh, I turned my head for just a second. And sure enough. Wow, look what he did to my frog. He kicked it all the way up the, up the line. Well guys, I'll tell you, nothing like a road trip to Illinois to see the in-laws for a family wedding, knowing you've got a pond like this in the backyard to go visit. I've been out here for about an hour and a half, and it has been incredible. And I've been here, it's been a long time since I've been here. I've fished it before, but it's been years. And I'm so happy to be back, and it's such an awesome treat to have these kind of opportunities when you go traveling. So. 
I'll be back out here a little later today and throughout the week. I've got three days to fish here before we actually have the wedding happen this weekend. So there'll be a lot more going on out here. I might hit a couple more spots in the area, but this is literally a, right in the backyard of the house. So I'll be doing some frogging in the morning. I'll be doing a little bit of flipping and pitching in this grass, which you can see all over this pond, which is going to be great probably in the, uh, in the afternoon. And guys, just stay tuned. I appreciate you joining me. And as always, I appreciate you subscribing. Until we meet again, over and out.